This is 5-Minute Power Platform. Today we're going to talk about travel because we're all stuck at home. And so we're going to do a GSA connected travel approval system in SharePoint. Now I've got another video where I built a custom SharePoint form to uh, manage this, but we didn't connect into GSA, but it was kind of an experiment using custom SharePoint forms. Today we're just going to use the out-of-the-box form, Power Automate flow for some of the connective tissues, uh, and but to really pull live GSA per diem data. And so how it's going to work is someone's going to submit a request in a SharePoint list that we'll build. We're gonna use this custom connector, which I'll show you how to import to retrieve per diem data from GSA. We'll update the record, we'll process an approval, and then we'll save the approval status. So pretty straightforward. Okay, we'll start by building a new list that will be uh, where we keep our data. We'll call this travel approvals video. And then when we get the list, we get this title field. We'll just leave that for the description of the travel. And then we're gonna add on a requester, and that's gonna be a person type field. So this will be the requester, and then we'll add on an approver, and we're going to set that by looking up the uh, approver, which is also a person, approver. And then we're going to add on a location. Now this is location is going to be a location type field, which is, a, to me, a relatively new type of field. It's got all sorts of data tied to it, so it's useful to us. And then we're going to add on the start date, course start date uh, we don't need the time this all looks good and the end date and date and then we'll have places to put the uh, hotel per diem which is going to be a currency hotel per diem and the meals and incidentals per diem which is also going to be a currency me m and ie per diem and then we're going to have an approval status should be a choice approval status and we're going to use uh, in approval or approve or reject and those are going to match what are coming out of the default uh, approval options in flow too and then we're going to add on a total value, which is going to be calculated. And so I'm going to add on that as a new field. And we'll do this. Actually, we're going to add this on using the kind of old school interface here so we can edit the formula. And so we'll add on a new field here, create column. This is going to be the total, total cost. And this is also going to be a uh, currency, currency type. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, formulas here and we're going to take uh, a date diff of the start and end. So date diff, and these are using just the SharePoint functions. And we're going to feed it the start date and the end date. And that should give us then the number of days because we're going to say D. And then that will give us the number of days between those two. We're going to add one because when you're calculating per diems, if you have the start, same start and end date, you still get per diem, and those would give a date diff of zero. So then we're going to multiply this times the sum of the two different per diem values, the M and I E. Oh, that didn't work. And then also the hotel per diem. And so this will automatically calculate the total value for us. So now we come back here to our list. We've got all the fields we need, although we don't need them all in the default view here. And so what we're going to do then is we're going to uh, go and change the change the uh, the form here. This is just the default SharePoint form. We're not going to use a Canvas form for this. So we'll edit the columns that are available on here, and we're going to take away the approver because that's going to be set automatically by the flow, and then also the uh, per diem amounts, the approval status. Uh, and the total are all to, are all going to be calculated automatically. So that gives them really just filling in the basic. Who are you? What are you traveling for? What's the location, start date, and end date, and attachment? So we fill this out. We can say like, you know, hey, this is a boondoggle requester. It's me. The location. The location's kind of cool. Like if we're going to the space theme, it'll actually give us, it'll use Bing and looks up all these things. And so it'll give us all the information associated with that. And then we can do a start date and an end date and add attachments. So now we've got the basics of entering this. So now we're gonna use the flow back in to pull those GSA values based upon the travel dates to look up the manager and all that. So before we get started on that, I'm gonna come over here to GitHub and we're gonna download the connector icon. So we'll save this. 
And then also the swagger file. We want the raw version of this. So let's just save this too. And then we're going to add this as a custom connector in this environment. So we'll come over here to Flow, Power Automate. We'll come into Custom Connectors. And we'll create a new custom connector. We're going to import an open API file. So let's give this, this is a GSA per diem. And then we'll import the file that we just downloaded. And we'll continue. We'll upload the image. And then we can just next through all of these. We'll test it. So let's create the connector up here on the top right. So it's going to ask for our API key. And here in the uh, documentation here in GitHub, there's a link to where we need to go to get that. So if we come here, we see that it's going to take us to open GSA API per diem. And then we need to get an API key here. So I'll just put in Phil Topness, my email, and sign up. And then that's going to give us this key here and then we're going to paste that in here and create connection so now we've been able to, be able to put in a year and test and we can see we're going to get and we'll see that we get the months and the values in here so it worked so now let's close out of this and let's create a new flow based upon it so we're going to create an automated flow we'll call this per diem video and we're going to do this when an item is created so this is going to go off of our SharePoint site that we're just working in. This is here and travel approvals. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look up the manager's name. And so we're going to use the Office 365 uh, connector for that. Office 365 users. We're going to get manager. And first thing we're going to feed it then is the requester's email address. So requester email address. That'll look up the manager's name and email address and all that thing. The email is all we really need to process an approval. So now let's use our GSA per diem custom connector. We're going to get per diem rates by zip code and year. Zip code is pretty easy because when we enter a location in SharePoint, it gives us that. So we'll do location, postal code. Now for the year, we're going to have to do a little bit of uh, expression work here because when we get a start date, so when we get our start date here, our start date is a full month day year. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do format, date, time, and we're going to just extract just the year out of it. And so we'll do Y, 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 Y. And then that'll give us just the year value of that. And so that should be everything we need then to, to get the GSA per diem values out. So now it's gonna, the per diem values look like this. They're a list of, um, of months as well as then the meals at the bottom. And so to get the list of months out, it's an array. January is going to be item zero. And so we need to get not only the month number, but we need to subtract one out of it. And so let's do that part first. So we'll use compose for that. And then we'll take compose and we'll do, uh, we'll get the month number. Let's call this one month number. And here again, what we'll do is we'll do a format date time. And then we'll take the start date. But this time we'll do a capital MM, which will return the month number. Now, because we're going to subtract a value from it, we need to convert that from a number with the integer expression. And then we'll subtract from that one so that January becomes zero and so on. And so that gives us our month number. And then now we need to get our two, uh, our two per diem values. And so the first one we're going to do with the compose is we're going to get the MIE, so the meals and incidental. And we'll use an expression for that. And for this one, we're going to use, uh, we're going to take the results of the GSA data, which is this here, this, this set of rates. And then what we're going to do is we're going to walk the exp expression here. And let me show you how that works. So now let's talk about how to get the data out of uh, GSA. And so it's going to return a structure that looks like this on the left-hand side here. And so you can see it goes from rates to rate, months to month, then we finally get the month value and we get the meals value down here. So to get the meals value, we're going to start from here and we're going to take the rates and we're going to take the first element. This bracket means it's an array. And so it's an array of one and the first element is number zero. So we're going to ask for element number zero. Same with rate. The rate is an array. It only has one element. So we're going to take element number zero and then we're going to jump down to meals and we're going to ask for meals. And that'll get us the value for, for meals. And so altogether, that's going to give us something that looks like this, and that's what we're going to put in our compose action. 
So as we did there, we're going to take it, take this, take the uh, first element here, zero, and then rate, whoop, rate, and then zero, and then meals. So that'll get us the value for meals. And then let's copy and paste this because we're going to do something very similar for the hotel value. We'll call this one uh, hotel per diem. Except now let's uh, make an edit on that one. Now for hotel, we're going to do something very similar to this, right? We're going to start with rates. We've got rate. We're going to take the zeroth element out of each one of those. There's only one. We're going to take months, and then we're going to jump down to month. And month is an array that has multiple values, and we're going to populate the month number in there that we're going to calculate using compose separately. And then we're going to grab value, and that'll give us the value of the hotel. So we're going to put all of this in a compose as well, and it's going to look like this. And instead of meals at the end here now, what we're going to take is we're going to take that uh, array of months. And then we're going to take, we see we had month. And then which month do we want? We want the month that corresponds to the month number that we set. And then each one of those was labeled value as we saw. So that'll get us the hotel value. And then we just need to update that back so that we can get our calculation and SharePoint working. So we'll do another update item. And here again, we're going to take our site here, communication, travel approvals. For the ID that we're going to update here, there's really only one. So we'll take the ID from SharePoint. We need to update the title too, so we'll just update the title that came from the original record. Title. And then what we want to do is we want to update the hotel per diem with the value that we calculated from our expression, hotel per diem. The MIE with the, the one from that expression. And also the approver with the uh, boss's name that we got from the Office 365 connector here. So this is the boss's user principal name. So those will all go back into SharePoint. And at this point, we're ready now to process an approval. So let's use approvals. And let's start and wait for an approval. We'll just do a very basic one. A first to respond, approve, reject. And so for the title, we'll just put a uh, new travel request from, and we'll put the uh, requester's name. So this is a requester display name. And then we're going to assign it to the approver's email. There it was, approver email. And then for the details, we'll say uh, total cost without airfare, airfare. And then we've got the total because now uh, SharePoint has calculated that for us. And so we'll take the total. And then SharePoint gives us a nice link. And so we'll do a link to the item. And then we'll say click for details. And then when we get the approval back, we can all we really want to do is capture the um, the approve reject value from the outcome. So let's copy update items so we don't need to set all those and let's paste that back in. And let's update the, the outcome here. So really the things we care about, uh, we've got the list name, the ID, the title. We're not going to re-update the approver name or the hotel. We've already done those once. All we care about is the meals and incidental approval. And that's going to be the outcome here. So now let's test this by entering a new item. So I'm going to put this in test mode. And so once this connects to our list here, I'm going to come back to our site. And let's enter in a new trip. So say trip to Microsoft. And I'll be the requester. Put in a location. We'll say Microsoft Redmond. Uh, good. And we'll choose a start date and an end date. We'll go for one week and then we'll save it. Now if we come back and watch our flow. Oh, I already ran. So we got the item. We looked up our manager. It was good. It got the per diem rates, and here we can see just the same structure we were seeing before. Got the month number, which we're traveling in April, which is month three in the array, right? The third element in the array, or the fourth element in the array, which is number three. And it got the per diem, it got the hotel per diem, it updated our item. So if we come back here, we see that we've got the per diems populated directly from GSA, as well as the total calculated based upon the number of days. And then we've got our approval running. So here in email, got a new travel request here. 
It's got a little, a little formatting issue maybe there, but let's approve it. And then we come back here and our flow will complete. And if we come back here, we see that uh, when we refresh this, it goes from in approval to approved. And so that way, really quickly, using some built-in SharePoint stuff, uh, Power Automate flow, as well as connecting into GSA's live data. So you've got like this huge database of per diem values from all locations and multiple years. You're able to connect this all together and do a quick travel approval app. I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching.